Welcome back. This video is going to cover Ubiquiti's Ethernet Surge Protector. And I don't know if you've seen this or not. If you go to their website, www.ubnt.com, and you go to Products and then Accessories, you will find the Ethernet Surge Protector. And what this does is this device sits in between two other devices, and if there's a surge, this will uh, take the brunt of that surge protecting your devices. So real quick, before I actually show you the device, let's see what Ubiquity has to say about it. It's Ethernet to Ethernet grounded ESD protection. The ETH SP is engineered to protect any power over Ethernet or non-power over Ethernet device with connection speeds of up to one gigabit per second. This use example is how we use the devices. And I will do a live install or an outdoor install video on this device. But it is ESD protection for outdoor PoE devices. Damaging electrostatic discharge. So ESD, electrostatic discharge. And they also used, uh, yeah, they used ESD there. It says damaging electrostatic discharge attacks and surges are diverted to the ETH SP and safely discharge into the ground. So network devices are protected. So this guy is going to sit in the middle. Surge comes in. It's going to hit this guy. Get get sent down the ground and that's the whole the whole point behind this to protect your equipment and you could actually be protecting your router or switch or you could be, be protecting your your CPE you know we we all make these investments time money equipment you know I think I pay twelve dollars a piece for this device and my opinion it's very cheap insurance so it does go on to talk about that this is additional ESD protection because all Ubiquiti Air Max devices are equipped with built-in ESD protection. So the ETHSP, or I guess we could call this the ETHSP surge protector, adds another layer of protection to your outdoor high-speed network. And this is closer to what our installs look like. I don't have any of these NanoBeam M5s deployed yet, yet, but this is this is closer to what our install looks like and our pipes are usually where we do our grounding. It is a plug and play installation. Connect the ground and ethernet cables in between your network devices and then make sure that this device is properly grounded and you're done. Here's a little video that Ubiquity has. Let's watch this. It's almost this easy. Uh, that's a self-tapping screw that it comes with. Ethernet in or out, it, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's the little surge that came in, and this play button didn't go away. But you saw the little surge come in and, and hit the device. So you can go out to their website, check out that video. You can download the, the data sheet or the quick start guide. And we're going to transition over, and I'll show you the device real quick. All right, so here is the actual device itself. It comes in a nice, slick little little package. Wouldn't expect anything less from Ubiquity at this point. So we'll open it up and see what it comes with. Awesome quick start guide. You can also download that on the website. Here's the device itself. And you can see we've got the rounded back, so that guy will fit on a pipe. There's a hole where the self-tapping screw will come out. You also see that you've got these two holes right here, so you could mount this inside. So we'll open this up. There's a self-tapping screw and washer. bottom ports there, 
so it doesn't really matter. You got the two Ethernet ports. This does support gigabit, but it doesn't matter what's in or out. This literally is just sitting in the middle of your connection and diverting that uh, the ESD out through wherever this device is, is grounded. So in a kind of a use case like we saw in the Ubiquiti video, you got an edge router powering this device, Ethernet, Ethernet. So it's sitting in the middle, powering, powering the light beam, and you get uh, an ESD, and it's going to hit this, and it's going to drain. So check them out, 12 bucks, really cheap insurance, does not come with the pipe clamps, so, but if you're doing these installs, you probably have stock in, in pipe clamps at this point. So please uh, give a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video.